In this video we will demonstrate how to use the T300 walk behind scrubber for shoppers at FCA. The Tenant T300 floor cleaning machine is a wet cleaning floor scrubber that only uses water and no detergents or chemicals are used. At FCA the T300 floor cleaning machine is only to be used on the first floor and second floor and not to be used to clean the ground floor. Use the T300 cleaning machine for large areas, taking care of not getting close to the conveyors. When cleaning straight narrow surfaces keep within the red lines. It must be understood that when using the T300 machine, it should not be used as a vacuum cleaner, and all papers plastic and debris must be swept up with a broom beforehand. How to use the T300 scrubbing machine. Take the T300 cleaning machine outside to dock 27 for its pre-use inspection. To maneuver the T300 freely without it being on the scrub mode. Lift the brushing pad off the ground by using the foot lever and clip the hook into place. Lift the vacuum squeegee from the ground by using your foot to manually lift the suction squeegee. The machine is now able to move around freely without it being on the scrub mode. Turn on the machine by using the key. The directional control switch can be selected for forward motion or for reverse motion. The throttle situated on the main dashboard is pulled towards the handle to start its motion and by releasing the throttle the motion will stop. To be able to adjust the variable speed on the T300, it can be done by turning the green knob on the left of the panel. Tortoise for slower, and rabbit for faster. Ride to dock 27 and position the machine in front of the drain. Place an object behind the wheels to stop it from rolling backwards. The T300 is ready for its pre-use service. This same service is also to be done in the end, after the use of the T300. Inspect the front brush or pad. Lift the protective ring and push down on the yellow button, this will release the magnetic brush. Inspect the brush or pad to see if they need to be cleaned or replaced. Remove any dirt or debris on the brush and spray it down using a hose. Clean the housing area and the protective ring using a wet cloth and spray it down with a hose. Clip the magnetic brush back into place and gently maneuver the protective ring over the brush. Empty the dirty water reservoir. Hold the pipe upright and remove the cap. Place the pipe down and let it drain in the drain. Open the dirty reservoir and flush with clean water while the drain pipe is laying on the floor. Remove the filter and clean it before replacing it. Once completed flushing the dirty reservoir, place the cap back on the pipe and hook into place. At the back, Unclip the suction pipe and clear any debris or blockage. Clean under the squeegees with a wet cloth to remove residue or debris and spray it down with a hose. Perform this from time to time if the cleaning is leaving water streaks on the floor. Fill the clean water reservoir by opening the inlet cap in front of the machine till the water level is shown full on the level display pipe. 
The water level pipe can also be removed to empty the clean water reservoir. Soap, detergents, or flammable liquids must never be used on the T300. Only clean water is to be used. The T300 machine is now ready to be operated. Turn on the machine and ride into the building. Important to remember, every time the machine is taken outside that the brush pads as well as the squeegee must be in the up position and lifted from the ground. If not, the squeegee or the brush will get damaged. Controls Turn on the machine using the provided key. Using the directional control switch will select forward or back motion and the throttle will move the machine into motion. Select the water amount for the front brush by pressing on the tap icon until one light is displayed. All lights off will not have water on the brushes. This can be used when there is a spill on the floor and no extra water is needed from the machine. For general cleaning have one light illuminated. Turn the speed mode to its slowest speed. Scroll the green button down to the tortoise icon and gradually change the speed when you are ready to do so. In case of emergency press the red emergency button. To release the button turn it clockwise and then reset the machine by turning the key off and on again. Silent mode, the ear icon. This is to be kept in the off position. When the silent mode is activated, the machine will make less noise but also be more ineffective. Battery display. When the battery level reaches the orange light, then the machine must be placed on charge. Power cable can be charged on a 220 volt electrical socket outlet. Scrub pad pressure lever. Keep this lever in the top position. This will give the scrub pads more pressure for a deeper clean. To start scrubbing the floor. Gently bring the front scrubbing pad down by unhooking the brush pad pedal and slowly release the pedal bringing the scrubbing pads to the ground. To lift the pad simply push down on the brush lever pedal and hook back into place. Should the magnetic brush accidentally fall, gently lift it up and clip the magnetic brush back into position. Start the machine with placing the vacuum squeegee down by pressing it with your foot. The front brush pads will start turning and water will be fed to the brushes while the vacuum squeegee sucks up the excess water. Travel speeds will affect the scrubbing. When traveling too fast the floors will not be cleaned effectively. Extreme caution must be taken when turning next to poles or barriers. The T300 cleaning machine can turn very sharply, and the machine can easily be damaged by hitting obstacles. Always ride past the pole or barrier before turning, to avoid hitting the obstacles. Before ending with the T300 machine, to clean up the last bit on the floor, first lift the front brush pads and run the squeegee past to suck up the last bit of water. Once that is done then lift the vacuum squeegee to stop the suction. When completed, take the T300 machine to dock 27 and clean it like it was done for its pre-use clean. Top up with clean water and place the machine back on charge. Remove the key and hand the key back to leadership or who you received the key from. This video has been brought to you by Housemeisters Picnic FCA.